Hello everyone. In the continuation of the fundamental of computer series, in this video lectures, I am going to explain uh, the central processing units, which is the hardware part. Um, so uh, we can see that the hardware that execute programs and manage rest of the computer systems, the basic parts of the computer, often known as the brain of the computer, where most calculation takes place, first develops uh, uh, by this uh, CPU uh, actually. Um, Intel uh, with in the earlier 1970s, which is known as a um, Intel 404004, uh, and the images is given in the uh, slides. Uh, the CPU structure actually um, um, we have already explained in the basic uh, block diagrams of the CPU in the previous uh, video lectures. Uh, CPU contains uh, the control units, arithmetic uh, and logic units, and the memory units. So uh, we can say that memory is actually the two types of memory, primary memory and secondary memory. But exactly the memory is divided into three parts. What is uh, called an internal memory first, second one is primary memory and the secondary memory. So uh, in the CPU actually consists the internal memory as well as the uh, primary memory. Primary memory nothing but a uh, uh, random access memory, RAM memory with it. But the internal memory is actually known as a register memory and the cache memory. Cache memory is actually the um, highest speed uh, memory which is close to the uh, uh, whose speed is close to the central processing unit CPU and, um, uh, and faster than the um, uh, RAM memory. So um, that's why the cache memory is, lies between the uh, central processing units uh, yani processor and the uh, RAM memory. Uh, registers is basically used for uh, store the temporary results whatever the arithmetic and logic unit uh, produce the intermediate result that will be stored in the register memory. So it is a faster memory its speed is also close to the uh, processor. So we can see that in the diagram central processing units are having control units, ALU sections and memory which is register and cache as well as the internal memory which is a, known as a RAM memory and the external memory which is attached with the central processing unit and other input and output devices are also be attached. Here is a simple block diagram so of the ALU section is given as well as the register how they are configured to each, uh, each sections and uh, other devices uh, internal electronic devices are there uh, which is worked together. The decoder uh, generate a signal to select a uh, select two registers um, having the data to uh, perform a calcul uh, arithmetic operation and that will be passes through the multiplexer and multiplexer send the data to the LA sections and the five operations that is OPR signals will be generated whatever the uh, one of the five operation will be performed and after the operation have been performed the result will be stored in the registers again or in the form of output. So uh, simple block diagram is given in then how the arithmetic and logic units is work. And uh, now come to the point uh, how the uh, processor is actually the different kind of processors are there. That is the types of processors there. One is single core processor. Earlier days, these processors actually uh, used and developed. Uh, so single core processor uh, having one core on its CPU chip, a uh, single chip, one core chip is there, and uh, no uh, so good at the multitasking. It means that one task, uh, one chip, one core. So one task is there. So uh, multitasking um, uh, techno uh, techniques are not implemented in this uh, processor type of processor. And then uh, the, the drawbacks of the single core uh, processors uh, that will be improved in the multi core processor. Uh, it uh, contains more than one core on a single chip. Uh, each core executes a task independently. That's why uh, it supports the multitasking uh, process. Uh, means each core. Uh, one task is there so multiple tasks can be performed in a single amount of time so multi-core processors are widely used nowadays uh, types of processor architecture so uh, this CPU or uh, processor or we can say that CPU is based on the uh, reduced instruction set uh, based computer or a complex instruction set based computer uh, so RISC uh, uses simple instruction that can be divided into multiple instructions uh, which perform low level operation with single clock uh, cycles. One cycles will be generated and a instruction will be divided into smaller uh, multiple instruction to perform um, the low level operation. And complex uh, instruction set uh, computers also known as a CISC. Uh, single instruction can execute several low level operations or are capable of multi step operations or addressing modes with single instruction. So it has a uh, more features than the RISC. 
so in the diagram uh, in the slide we can uh, see the comparisons between that cisc means complex instruction risc means a reduced instruction sophisticated decoding fast decoding risc instruction take longer to execute instruction faster to execute risc process complex hardware requirement simple hardware requirement and uh, these are the examples and decrease memory uh, cost so if you like this uh, uh, video lectures uh, of the architectures of cpu so please share it and uh, if possible then subscribe it and uh, if you have any kind of suggestion about this video uh, to improve in the next video please suggest us thank you